So today I've got a blue gizmo, a BG32. Uh, what is it? A thermometer, a laser thermometer. The problem that this one's got though is pressing the button and the screen doesn't light up. It has been dropped, as you can see a slight gap here. So I'm going to open it up and see what I can do about that. It looks like it's only got a single screw holding it together, which I believe is under here. Can't really feel one on the other side. So if I'm lucky, it should hopefully just be a single screw holding it together. And then I can get in, push this back in, and hopefully the LCD will display once more from there. So I've had it on the heat pad here getting warm at 80 degrees Celsius for a little bit, just so this becomes tacky and a bit easier to open. I'll zoom in on my hand there, because that's always interesting. So I'm just taking out the Phillips head screw. There we go, one screw removed. Now I'll have a look under the battery and see what I see. Nothing down here. So hopefully with that removed, I should be able to pry this open. Nah. Nah, it may be glued. Keep removing the sticker just in case, but I can't feel anything else, so I don't think there would be anything else under there. No, we are clear. Move that out of the way. like I can't feel another screw on here. But in my mind it would be telling me that there is another screw going the other direction just to keep it all compressed and together. So I'll take this off even though I don't think there's anything there. Nothing there. Right -o. Next up we'll do the prying method. slightly closer. I wonder if there's a hidden screw down here. Nope. Looks like some form of diagnostics port. If I was to bet money on that. Potentially for calibration from the factory. Yeah, what have you got holding this in? That off. One more hidden screw. And with this out of the way, we should be able to separate and realign it. Go. Now I'm going to kill the power, trigger mechanism, excellent, all pretty much close proximity, should be able to lift this out. And the dilemma had, that this one had was when it dropped, this clamp bit over here popped off. So if I undo this screw, I should be able to latch it up and over.
So we're going to see there. Zooming in a bit closer for you guys. ST PCB 6300. This is where the LCD normally makes its connection along here. So I'd say it's not pushing enough for the crystal display to function. Let's do a bit of a board overview. It's not much use for me, but it may help someone out there. And look at it from the other side. Sorry about the shadow of my finger. There we go. So what I'm expecting to do here is realign these, which I should just be able to jiggle it around, put that into place. go. It's sticking out further than I would expect. But it very well made us do that by default. Yep. There we go. And I'll put the screw back in. With great challenge. Mainly due to my thumb being Slightly injured. Last night chopping up spuds, wasn't concentrating, and capped a bit of my thumb, which is always fun. There we go. Now, in theory, if I push here, bingo. We are functional once more. Bingo, we are functioning once more. That's good, I'll zoom out. That's a matter of aligning everything to where it should go. That looks like where it should live. Been that the cable's also running into that position just by itself. Now, it's a matter of sliding it back in. Battery back into position. This. There we go. Yep. Oh, trigger was in position. Now it's no longer in position. Just here, which hopefully once it's all screwed into position, nice and tight, it should be right. There we go, that's what we want. Now it's hitting it every time, excellent. Bingo. Now it's a matter of aligning everything once more. I'll put this over the top, push it down, click, click, trigger functions. Now I believe it's the end cap that must hold this into position. There we go. through. Unscrew. Two screw. And this looks like it kind of feeds in there. Like that. Push up from the bottom, close over, reattach your stickers, 
optional. One side. And the other side. Done. One repaired Blue Gizmo BJ32. Hope this helps you. See you later. Bye.